here in the i button and in description box below will get complete playlist of this chapter okay yes with this i welcome you to video number 6 in which we are going to see forbiness method okay very 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 important method okay yes see the solution when x equal to 0 is a regular singular point of the equation this okay yes series solution when x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 is a regular singular point of this equation yes that is p naught d square y upon dx square plus p1 dy upon dx plus p2 y equal to 0 where p naught p1 p2 are said to be polynomials of x or you can say like uh, function of x okay then only we are going to use this Frobenius method to get the solution of this okay we will be using Frobenius method okay for uh, achieving the solution of this equation we need to follow certain steps okay so let us see those steps before starting this video I would request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you learn something from my videos then do share this uh, video and uh, playlist with your friends and uh, please hit the like button also okay yes let us start. First step is assume the solution of equation number 1. Okay, this is my equation number 1. Assume the solution of equation number 1 to be y plus 2 summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n into x power n plus n. Okay, yes. Here we have summation n equal to 0 to infinity. Here we have uh, n. Uh, here also we have n. So we can take x to the power n common. Okay, we are taking this outside of this uh, summation. The, then we can rewrite this as x to the power n summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n into x to the power n okay yes now we are going to expand this that is y plus 2 x to the power n this is put n equal to 0 this is going to be a 0 x to the power 0 that is a 0 put n equals to 1 this is going to be a 1 x to the power 1 that is a 1 x put n equals to 2 this is going to be a 2 into x to the power 2 okay yes plus dot 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 and this is Let's suppose my equation number 2. Okay. Yes. Yes. We have y. Okay. Now we need to differentiate this y. Okay. So that. Yes. We need to differentiate y. With respect to x. Two times. That is twice. Okay. So that we will get. Y. Y dash. And y double dash. If you differentiate y. Two times. You have the values for. Y. You have y dash. And you have y double dash. Then. We need to substitute. Y. Y dash. And y double dash. In equation number 1 okay what is my equation number one yes this okay this is my equation number one we need to replace okay substitute y double dash y dash and y okay yes let us come to the third point yes that is equate to zero the coefficient of lowest degree term in x okay yes after uh, <coughs> after after substituting y, y dash and y double dash in, in equation number one then, then we need to check okay uh, the lowest degree term in x okay whose equ whose coefficient is equated to zero fine yes it gives a quadratic equation known as indicial indicial equation okay when you equate to zero the coefficient of lowest degree term in x it will give you a quadratic equation which is also called as indicial equation okay yes then Similarly, we will equate, yes, equating to 0, the coefficient of other powers of x. Find the values of a1, a2, dot, 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 in terms of a0. Okay, yes. Here, we will equate the coefficient of lowest degree term in x to 0. And that will give us a quadratic equation, which is also known as indicial equation. But here, we need to equate to 0, the coefficients of other powers of x, Okay, so that we will find the values of a1, a2, a3, a4, okay, dot, 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 in terms of a0, fine, yes, now, this is most important part, yes, the complete solution, the complete solution depends on the nature of roots of indicial equation, okay, yes, the complete solution depends on the nature of roots of indicial equation, we have three cases, okay, we have three cases, let us discuss all our three cases one by one and in future we are going to solve uh, problems on each cases okay yes case number one when the roots are distinct and do not differ by an integer okay 
when the roots are distinct distinct means different different roots and do not differ by an integer it means if you subtract both the roots okay that will not form an integer then the complete solution is given by y equals to y1 sorry y equals to c1 into y when m equals to m1 plus c2 y when y equals to when m equals to m2 okay i repeat this once again yes the complete solution when the roots are distinct and do not differ by an integer the complete solution is given by y equals to c1 y when m equals to m1 plus c2 y when m equals to m2 okay here m 1 and m2 both are the roots okay which are distinct roots fine okay let us go to the second case case number 2 when the roots are repeated okay when the roots are equal or you can say repeated then the complete solution is given by y equals to c1 y c1 y when y when m equals to m1 okay y equals to c1 y when m equals to m1 plus c2 del y upon del m okay when m equals to m1 fine where m1 is what m1 is the root okay that is the repeated root fine yes when the roots are repeated then the complete solution is given by y equals to c1 y when m equals to m1 plus c2 del y upon del m when m equals to m1 okay yes we will achieve this okay when when we will differentiate uh, differentiate uh, y partially with respect to m okay yes where m1 is what it is a root of the initial equation fine now we will see the third case third is the last case fine yes this is video number six and from video number seven onwards we will solve three important problems okay we will solve three very 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 important problems so please subscribe to my channel and if you go to the playlist here yes you will find uh, every videos okay in sequence fine now coming to the case number three when roots are distinct and differ by an integer yes when the roots are distinct what is distinct distance distinct mean different roots when the roots are different and differs by an integer okay yes if you uh, find the difference between the roots okay let's suppose m1 and m2 both are roots and if you want to find the value of m1 minus m2 or m2 minus m1 that will give you what an integer okay yes making making a coefficient of y making a coefficient of y infinite okay making a coefficient of y infinite yes let m1 and m2 let m1 and m2 be the roots such that m1 is less than m2 let us suppose m1 and m2 both are the roots of the initial equation such that m1 is what less than m2 if some of the coefficients of y series if some of the coefficient of y series become infinite when m equals to m1 we modify the form we modify the form of y by replacing a naught by b naught m minus m1 yes important line let me repeat this once again if some of the coefficient of y series becomes infinite when m equals to m1 we will modify the form of y by replacing a naught by b naught m minus m1 okay yes then the complete solution is given by y equals to yes you can see here y equals to c1 y where m equals to m2 plus c2 del y upon del m where m equals to m1 okay yes the complete solution in this case that is case number 3 okay is given by y equals to y equals to y1 sorry c1 into y when m equals to m2 plus c2 del y upon del m when m equals to m1 okay yes so here we have we have seen all the steps yes first step was yes you need to know this formula first okay before solving this solution of frobenius method okay you need to know the solution of this equation which is this that is y equals to summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n into x power m plus n okay you need to remember this formula then we will find y y dash and y double dash for that we need to differentiate this y two times so that we will get the value of y y dash and y double dash then we will put that in this first equation okay yes then we will yes this third and fourth point are very 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 important equate to zero the coefficient of lowest degree term in x okay we need to yes 
you need to equate to 0 what the coefficient of lowest degree term in x and that will give me a quadratic equation which is also known as initial equation fine in the same way we need to equate to 0 the coefficient of other powers of x and find the values of a1 a2 in terms of a0 okay then we have three cases this depends on the nature of roots of initial equation and in next video we will start we will see a problem on this first case that is when the roots are distinct and do not differ by an integer and the complete solution is given by this okay thank you thank you so much for watching this video thank you